All right, here we are back at the Comer Farm. And we recently found out that the Bottenbergs own this until 1942. We were fortunate enough to interview one of the Bottenbergs uh, yesterday. Norman, 95 years old, still drives, lives by himself, sharp as a tack. He told us some interesting things about this house, so we've come back and we're going to see what we can get. Holy poopy. Yes, Dustin, there is a dip. Get going. There's the house. We came before it got dark, so we can get some shots of the outside. Oh, it was light. Now this is the parlor, and this is where they laid George out for his wake. Um, Norman said two or three days, and a person sat with the body 24 hours a day. When one person would get tired, one of the other farmers would come in and sit with him. And this room here, Norman said, that the children was afraid of. None of the children would come into this room and play or even come in after their dad died. So, I think Aaron and Kim's going to be in this room a lot this evening. Dustin and I will be upstairs. Devin and Steve will be out the big barn. Um, it's not the original barn. Um, the original barn burnt down that they built where the original barn stood. And we found out yesterday why there are names and dates written on some the boards. Um, the barn burnt down and three horses and a coon dog is burned up in there. Um, and that's the dates when they died. Um, my family wasn't home at the time. They were uptown and there was an electrical storm and the barn was hit by lightning. And that's how it caught on fire. So. But this is the parlor. Um, Dustin, if you want to do a little bit of a shout out to see if we okay. can get anything. We are back here at the old Comer house. Well, farmhouse. Um, we got a little bit of a history behind it. Um, we got an interview with a former family member that used to live here. Norman, Norman Boltenberg. Norman Boltenberg. Mm -hmm. And uh, he gave us some pretty good background history. So um, we figured we'd come back and investigate. So at this time, I'm going to take and do a shout out and ask if there's anyone here with us. If so, would you like to make your presence known? And if so, please do it. Be state your name, who you are, which family you're from. Yeah, if you're from the Comer family or the Botenberg, but um, um, Norman told us today that Ruth Coma is his cousin. His so they're still intertwined now, the Comers and the Botenberg. So I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, I'm sorry. Um, Sophie? Are you here with us? Sophie and George. Yeah. Sophie is a woman to be greatly admired because in 1918 she lost her husband and she did not remarry. She was pregnant with her youngest um, when her husband died. Um, she raised five children and wore up this entire big farm by herself. So she is like the ultimate working goddess lady. <laughs> uh, I don't think I could have done it. Um, 
don't think anyone could have done it. I don't think I could have done it. But she did not remarry. And she lived here with her five children. And did it all her own. Okay. some hurts gently in the doorway here. So we're going to go in here. It's like a charm bracelet or something. Like a charm bracelet. Okay, right there is the camera that we've got sitting there. We had it pointing the other way the last time Steve and I was here, so we decided to mix it up a little bit. Camera is extremely unfocused. Okay, back in a smaller bedroom. Let's see if we can pick up anything on camera. Holy crap. What? What did you see, Dustin? Alright, as um, me and Deb were looking in the little bedroom, I turned around and kind of looked over my shoulder and it looked as if someone maybe darted from the bathroom through that little hallway there and come out. I don't know where they went after that, but I just seen that much. that but I just seen that much.